Okay, guys, everybody listen up. Anybody watched the, the match yesterday between uh, Alcarez and uh, Casper? Raise your hand. Okay, whatever you want to say, whatever you want to say, chime in. Whatever you want to say. Go ahead, shot it. You saw it. What do you, what do you want to say? You didn't see it? All right, we'll talk about that. Did you see it? Yeah. Alcarez has really good footwork. Alcarez has very good footwork. You didn't see it? Yeah, footwork. Footwork. Huh? I thought Rude played more of a defensive play style and uh, just waited on Alcarez. Okay. Casper, very uh, uh, defensive. That's why he picked up on it. Anybody else? Both had a good attitude. What'd you say? Okay. Quicker. He runs for every ball. You got that right. Huh? Serves really good. Anything? I didn't see it. Anything? 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 Backhand was not good. Backhand, okay. Not good. Now, everybody listen up, okay? First off, everything in life is in the eye of the beholder. But what I want to talk about is the mental part. I want to talk about the, the mental part. I need you. Forget this. Forget speed. Forget quickness. Forget the technical part. Forehand, backhand. Forget Carlos, okay, or Casper, which a lot of you guys know. I coached his dad back in the uh, early 90s, uh, Christian. Okay, still very good friends. I need everybody to listen to what I'm going to say. And this is, like, so powerful. I can't even stress it. Okay, obviously, to be great at anything, it's a package. Whether football, baseball, basketball, tennis, hockey, golf, it's not just one thing. Okay, whether you're talking about, you know, the foot speed or you're talking about the technical part or the competitiveness or the genetics or the size or the strength. Forget all these other things that you might need to become number one in the world. Okay, because it's not just one thing. All right. It's not just one thing. What I want to talk about is the mental part. All right. And let's just talk about that. First off. At the end of the day, you got to love the competition. Anybody, anytime, anywhere. And you've heard me say that so much. There's a sign right here. Anybody, anytime. Right? There's a sign. Easier said than done. Okay, you got to just love the battle. You got to love the competition. Because everything around you can kind of make you freak out. The moment, the situation, whatever, whatever, whatever. But this starts early on. I love to run. I love to sweat. Okay, I never make excuses. I have a great attitude. Okay, all this stuff starts at an early age. That just didn't happen a day before this tournament. Okay, that started long ago. Okay, and when you play, you're a performer. Okay, you're an artist. Okay, and you can see that with Alcaraz. This is the wild card. Okay, he was meant for that mo for those moments. All right, he's meant for those moments. Listen, no one's going undefeated. Everybody chokes. Every guy, everybody gets nervous. But if you want to be in the ideal performance state, where you got high level intensity and you got calmness, where the mind and body come together, that's what you're seeing in that young man. Forget everything you said. The serve, the forehand, the back, and all those things are part of the package. But without this, it doesn't matter. He's a performer. He loves the competition. That's why he's fearless. That's why he has competition. He's not afraid. Even when he misses those drop shots, people said, I don't think he should do that. But you know what? He wouldn't be him unless he tried at that moment. Like you saw the one he made in the, in the tiebreaker also. But a couple, you, when he misses it, everybody goes, don't do that. That started long ago. No fear why he can make these amazing shots. It's a package, but it all starts with the mind and the belief. And then you back the truck up, okay? Down a break in the fifth against Chile, okay? 20,000 people get rooting against him when he played Tiafo. Had match point against him against Sinner, okay? And the guy just turned 19 three or four months ago. Something's different mentally, because he loves to play. And if you saw that one point where it was beyond brutal, Okay, and he, they ran all over the court like two little squirrels, and then he ran all the way over there, and he fell down, spread eagle, 
and he looks up and smiles at the camera, okay? Now, I don't know if Kyrgios would have done that, okay, or a lot of other people, but that was real, okay? Because both those guys have a lot of humility, but the fun and enjoyment. And when you can do that, because you're gonna be tested, you don't think there's pressure, you don't think there's big points, you don't think there's moments, okay? That's why I went out a year ago, and even six months ago, did videos on this guy, okay, simply because he's a generational talent, but it's because of the mental part. If there was any question at all about that, and you can get that as you get confident, but the, 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 the fun and the joy, and that's what you should do, be doing out here. You should have fun. And if you can enjoy the competition, okay, like both those guys do, but Carlos has had a whole, has a whole different level mentally, okay, to do it at that young of age, okay, on that stage, all right, it's only gonna get better, barring injury, it's only gonna get better. I cannot stress this enough. So what's the takeaway? What's the moral of the story, okay? When you make a mistake, you got 20 seconds to make it like it happened 20 years ago. You got to flip it in your mind. You got to come back to that line and feel good about yourself. Because if you say, oh, no, no, I hope I don't double fall, you'll probably double fall. Or if you get scared, you're going to hit short, okay? If you're thinking the wrong way. But the internal stuff, I love to compete. I'm all about the competition. You're not worrying about the millions watching on TV. You're not worried about the 20,000 people you're playing. You're not worried about number one in the world. You're not worried about your first. You don't think like that. You don't think like that. You are a performer. You're on stage, okay? And you saw that from Serena when she beat the number two player in the world. That's what I told people. She was like on Broadway, okay? She was turning quicker, catching up more in front, more confident. She only played like six matches in the last two years. That's beyond crazy. But that's her greatness also. Having that attitude. So I know you guys, when you play, you lose a match, you always tell the coach, oh, my forehand or my backhand or my serve. You never say my attitude or my brain. You never blame that. And I'm just telling you, the reason why he'll win multiple grand slams, okay, barring injury, and if he doesn't get hurt, I think he has the potential to be one of the greatest players of all time, if not the greatest simply because he has this, then he has all these other qualities. So what I'm trying to get across to you guys today, all right, none of that happens last night. Okay, he doesn't love the competition. He's all about the competition. And those habits start at a young age. They start at a young age. And that's why he's one of the most unique things people have seen in the last 40 years. Okay, there's good and there's very good, but this is, very special the way this guy is because he has these other qualities so what I need you guys to do when you make a mistake could you ever smile I don't think so okay now if you get mad and the very next point you can flip it and feel great about yourself that's great but I don't know if you can do that so what did you get out of what I just said anything anything what I love to compete. I think all of you love to compete or you wouldn't be here. It's so much about the attitude and how you look at it. Because what you hear and what you read, okay, and what people say affect how you think. The only thing you got control over is what? Yourself. Your attitude. And the best of the best of all the rest, they're the most positive people that ever walked the face of the earth. Get your butt out there and practice. Let's go. I want everybody with different